For most parents, school shopping is all about sales on trapper keepers and the jumbo pack of Crayolas. But in the wake of Sandy Hook and Aurora, some parents are now adding bulletproof coats and backpacks to the shopping list. ABC's John Schriffen goes inside the business of bulletproofing America's kids. It's 6 a.m., an ordinary school day for Dimitrik Boinkin and his four-year-old daughter, Jalea. So this is Superwoman's cape. Ordinary, except for this brand new backpack. What does it do? That's me. Because it's bulletproof. That's right. Despite the girly pink fabric and pretty patterns adorning it, this backpack offers military-grade protection. It's kind of heavy. If you think Dimitrik might be a little paranoid, just Thank consider you. where he lives, Aurora, Colorado side of the horrific movie theater shooting last July. So you think about the fact that your wife and your daughter could have been in there when the shooting happened. I absolutely do. Dimitri is among a wave of parents willing to try this extreme and controversial measure to protect their children at school. So if they were to come in your classroom with any guns, you put this on and this would stop the bullets. Bulletproof clothing, is that really necessary? It felt like this was the easiest thing that I could do to keep my arm around her when I couldn't keep my arm around her. That anxiety has led to an emerging market for something most Americans would have never thought necessary, bulletproof clothing for children, from jackets to shirts to backpacks like Jalea's. It's a uh, flexible, lightweight. Caballero says the quality of his products speak for themselves. He's putting four shots from this nine millimeter Glock straight into the backpack. We don't have any penetration. Can you put this back into the backpack and the child reuse this? Yeah. With that, four more shots. We now have eight total shots into this backpack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight shots. Now we turn it around. Zero, 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 zero. There is nothing on this side of the plate, which is actually against the child's body. Yeah. If the child is actually wearing this backpack on their back, what would they feel? They feel, uh, they will feel like the punch. We went with Dimitrik as he dropped off Julia inside her elementary school. Do you think everything went according to plan? She has seemed to embrace it and understands that her safety is important. Later that day, he took us to the Aurora movie theater. He hasn't been there since the shooting. But now that Julia can potentially protect herself with the backpack, he says they might start going to the movies again. Is it crazy to be thinking about your little daughter having to maneuver in a situation where bullets are flying around? I mean, we're, we're talking about this. It's horrifying. Um, crazy doesn't even describe it. Um, it's, it's something that I hate that I even have to imagine. But it's something that I realize is reality with today. I'm John Schriffen for Nightline in Aurora, Colorado.